Hello Deckers, Liam here. Microsoft have said they've upgraded the Xbox Cloud Gaming Experience for Linux and Chrome OS so that it should work and perform better than before with no special workarounds. Writing on the community Reddit, an official developer announced that they've released a set of performance improvements on Xbox Cloud Gaming for gamers playing via browser on Linux and Chrome OS devices you can expect higher resolution and smoother streaming experience. They said that these changes also complete a long journey of upgrading our browser gaming experience to a different streaming technology. You should now have a more consistent experience in the browser no matter what device you use. Now checking on it myself, it works great on desktop Linux and Steam Deck, so here is a refresher on how to actually set it up. On desktop Linux, it's literally click and play in Chrome, but for Steam Deck, first you need to have installed Chrome, and there should be an installer in the non-Steam section of your Steam library. You should have a Chrome icon in here, and that is an installer. However, if there isn't, hop down into desktop mode, where you can load up the Discover software store. In the search bar in the top left, just enter Chrome, and then you can click it on the right and go through the install there. Once you actually have Chrome installed, we need to enter one single command into the console terminal app, which I will put in the description. All this does is allow the Flatpak version of Chrome to actually access the deck gamepad and external gamepads. I tested this working fine with an Xbox Bluetooth controller and the Steam Deck directly. Now in desktop mode, you can just load up Chrome, go to xbox.com forward slash play, and then log in. I would do it in desktop mode here just because it's easier. And then that's the basic setup nearly ready. This next bit you can either do in desktop mode or gaming mode, but I'm gonna show it here in gaming mode. If you want Chrome to open up Xbox Cloud Gaming directly in full screen, here's what to do. On the properties menu on the right side of Chrome, and then in the launch options box, just enter in this text that I'm highlighting after what's already in there. And again, that will all be noted in the description. It's just putting it in kiosk mode with a set resolution and full screen. After that, the final step is just to set Steam input correctly on the gamepad icon in Chrome in your Steam library. I go for the gamepad with mouse trackpad preset build, along with setting the right trackpad click to a left mouse click, as I find it helps interacting with the browser window while giving you full gamepad controls for Xbox Cloud at the same time. Now we can just load it up and it will go right to Xbox Cloud where I will launch Fortnite. Since it's free to play, you don't need Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and it's easy to show off. You'll see that it launches fine and eventually I can get into a game, but obviously I'm speeding up all the loading in the background here so we're not sitting around. It sure took Microsoft a while, but it's nice to see them pay some sort of attention to getting it working and performing better for us. And on a side note, despite my own reservations about the Epic Store, their exclusive deals and all that other rubbish, I actually quite like Fortnite myself. I regularly play it with friends who all have traditional consoles and with my son who enjoys it as well. So having it work so easily and so nicely like this through cloud gaming means I can just keep up with everyone. Obviously, it would be better if Epic supported it directly on Linux and Steam Deck either by hooking up the anti-cheat for Proton or a full native Linux build so that we could actually get true crisp picture quality and less data use. But honestly, it works ridiculously well like this if those points are less of an issue for you. Input is incredibly responsive on Xbox Cloud. And once you get over the initial few setup steps on Steam Deck, it's quite fantastic actually. I can't wait to play more of this in bed. Hope you found this interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I love hearing from you on all the good and the bad. Let me know and I'll see you later.